Alright, so before the sun goes down and I lose my natural lighting, I'm going to be letting you guys know what my favorite makeup brushes are. So my actual brush collection is about 1.5 times the size of what you're seeing in front of me, but I picked out my favorite brushes for doing a full face and I will let you know what they are. So to begin, uh, in terms of applying my foundation, are my fingers. <laughs> I really like the natural finish fingers give and I can control it a little bit better I feel like than a sponge and I use a lot less amount than using a sponge and I feel like a brush leaves streaks more often than not so I use my lovely fingers. Of course if you're going to use your fingers make sure to definitely wash it before and I usually just let my fingers air dry because um, sometimes like if you wipe it with a towel or like a tissue paper, you can kind of get like some of the lint stuff on your fingers and yeah, I just think it's better to let the mirror dry. Um, anyways, after that, usually if I'm gonna, I will powder. My favorite powder brush is this gigantic powder brush from Real Techniques. It's gigantic. It's like a, like a dome shade. It's really fluffy, really soft, and it makes a really perfect brush to just set your entire face. Now if I'm going to be setting like the areas um, under my eye or in like my nose crease, I'll use this. It's by e.l.f. It's actually their e.l.f. highlighting brush, but I use it under my eye because it has that nice dome shape that fits well. This is probably about a dollar or two dollars. Really cheap and affordable. For blush, my favorite brushes um, are also by Real Techniques, this is their blush brush. What I like about this is it, it almost has, has like a skinnier kind of um, dome shape and it makes it easier to have a more precise blush application. If I'm going with a less pigmented blush, I'll use this. If it's more pigmented, I'll use this Equal Tools kind of like multi-purpose uh, powder brush in a, in a sense because this one nicely diffuses the blush. You can see that this um, the Eco Tools one is a little bit more, it's a bit wider, and a little bit more fluffier. While the Real Techniques one is a little bit more domed and a little denser. This is also a blush brush. I got it in. Sorry. Oh my gosh, my phone is like acting up. Excuse me. You're being rude. So this is a blush brush. I got it in a Tarte holiday collection. I don't think it's on sale on Tarte, but I'm just showing you guys the shape so maybe you can find it elsewhere. It looks a lot like the e.l.f. highlighting brush, but it's definitely skinnier um, and a little bit more dense on the end. And this one's really awesome to apply like the sheerest amount of blush. If you have a blush that is so pigmented, you use these kind of brushes to sheer everything out. And it's really nice. Contour, I either if it's cream contour, I will use um, this Real Techniques. What is this? Sculpting brush. Uh, because it has literally, it's like in the shape of kind of like to carve out your cheekbones, and I like to use it with cream contour because it gives a more precise application, and then I can blend it out. Um, with like this brush or something but if it's a powder contour I will use this brush which is the contour brush by Real Techniques and this gives me a more precise application but because it's powder and it's a little dense it allows me to kind of buff it out on my skin so it doesn't look like it's just a streak of brown um, in terms of eyeshadow oh before I move on to eyes let's finish the face so I went through every brush except for this one this is the only brush I use to highlight. This is the Real Techniques setting brush. And this is actually made for setting the under eye, but I use it to highlight because it's small enough and it picks up a good amount and I can just uh, glide it across my cheekbones really easily. Now moving on to eyes. For eyes, uh, for anything transition, I love using this Wet n Wild crease brush. It's 99 cents. It's super soft, it blends really well. It's a lot better than some other brands that are more expensive so definitely check out Wet n Wild they're great um, for like applying something on my lid or deepening the crease I will use this Sonia Kashuk brush Sonia Kashuk makes amazing brushes um, they can be a little bit up there in price but 
this one I bought when I first started out in makeup in 2015 so it's or 14 I'm not sure but it's been three to four years and I wash it all the time and it still performs just as well as when I first got it this is amazing um the writing has kind of worn off so I can't really see um, and I don't think they make it like in this packaging anymore but I'm guessing that the, her brushes that she has now are similar for brow bone I use another one by Sonia Casio this is actually number 203 if that's still available and it's just this huge shader brush but I use it because it kind of you, I can use this part to um, just glide across the brow bone and it blends out nicely and last brush is all you need is a really good blending brush to just blend and diffuse everything else so it all meshes into one beautiful, colorful, or neutral look. And this is by It Cosmetics. Was it pricey? <laughs> yes. Is it worth it? Definitely. It is the most soft brush I've ever had. It is such good quality. I think it's definitely well worth the price. Alright guys, so those are my favorite brushes. Let me know if you like this video or if you would prefer me to stick to just like makeup stuff and not go on to brushes if that bores you. Um, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to link some other videos. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next video.